Hi everyone, now we will start a new topic, Floodlight Look Back Window. Now, in my previous tutorials in, or in the videos, I have explained what is the function of floodlight and different types of floodlight available within Double Click Campaign Manager. Now, one of the function of floodlight is to attribute, attribute in the sense, provide a credit to the different campaigns which is performing and letting the floodlight to fire in the sense what I want to mean. So let's take an example, you're running an ad, you're running a campaign and you want the user to get dropped onto your website or onto your you know, app. So now you have to provide a credit to which particular campaign is performing very really good. So look back window actually plays a very vital role in providing the credit to the different campaigns the different placement placements available within campaign to give a proper attribution of which campaign is performing very really good for you. So let's start. Floodlight only records conversion for users who have previously seen or clicked onto the campaign manager ad within a period of time that you specified. That is called as a look back window. Now you tell to floodlight whenever a click happen and the floodlight tags a user lands onto the you know website or app and it triggers the floodlight to fire now once it has fired you tell to floodlight to go back and check that whether on a specific defined period of time whether this user have interacted with the ad and has dropped for an example you have seen one ad for apple for an iPhone in fact, on some kind of a website, you clicked onto it and you landed up onto Apple website. Now you navigated, you, you have seen some features of new iPhone, uh, how much is the cost and you just closed the window and you went away from the website. After 10 days, you realize that now you want to go and do the booking for uh, your Apple iPhone. Then in that case, the moment you again go on to uh, Apple iPhone website or onto the section of uh, you know iPhone, then the floodlight again fires. Now, the moment the floodlight fires, it checks that whether you are a repeated user and since you have triggered the floodlight to fire again, it checks into the look back window that whether you have interacted with the Ad or whether you are coming solely and finding the floodlight by typing www.apple.com forward slash iPhone. So by this you can segregate as an advertiser it's very important to check the impact of your uh, campaign. So in that case you actually give a set value to a floodlight to record certain users. So let's say example you're running a campaign for uh, some promotion for a week. So you'll be setting up the floodlight look back window for seven days and the moment after seven days you know whenever a new ad has been interacted the, that particular user would be considered as a new user so that's the importance of look back window and later on in the reporting part you will understand the functionality and the importance of the look back window if this look back window is not being set in a proper manner your attribution modeling tool would not give you a concrete report or a clear insight of how your different campaigns are performing. So just to have a better understanding for this, I have given an example, a case study into the course material below. I would request the user to just go and read and check the importance of floodlight look back window. And in case you get stuck with some doubts or questions, I would request you to leave the questions onto the comment section. I would love to go ahead and answer those questions. Thank you.